What's up, bro tube? How do you make sense of not missing a workout? And I guess the best better question is how do I do it? Because that's what I'm here to tell you. Now, I it's not that I don't like working out. It's a little unfair because I actually fucking love it. But there are certain things that I need to accomplish this year. One of those being getting a little bit leaner and getting as much muscle as I can. Another one is to just get a little bit uh, is just to get a little bit more in tune with my just overall mental health and also getting better at doing cardio. Now, I really, I have a lot of ways in which I accomplish this. One of them is obviously with some pre-workout. You know, you take a little, take a scoop of pre-workout and you know, sometimes you take two. So this will be my second time drinking pre-workout. Earlier in the morning, I, when I lifted, I took, I took, I took about half a scoop of Total War, but no longer by Redcon 1, which, funny story about Redcon 1, but it's not for me to discuss. If you're interested in finding out what I'm talking about, let me know. Eventually you get to a point where the pre-working doesn't do it anymore. And I've talked about it in the past and you wanna develop the habit of just fucking doing it. But look, we're all human and we're all gym bros and one of all of us, but there's a little bit of gym bros and all and everybody. There's come a time and place where you just start thinking about like, well, I don't really have to do this, you know, cause you don't. And that's what's fucking crazy. You actually don't have to do it, but it makes that much better if you actually get it done. Cause you're just succeeding for no reason, which is fucking dope. And, but you know, Earlier I was thinking about how it was just irrational because I also didn't want to lift. But it's it's really, I kind of got myself into this position where it doesn't really make sense for me to make excuses as to why I'm not in shape. And the reason being it's because, well, number one, I'm financially secured where I could emphasize and prioritize fitness as much as I want. You know, like in every fucking level, meaning that if I have something wrong with me medically, I can get it addressed because I have, you know, like the health insurance and the support system and X, Y, and Z. And I also have the time to do it, right? So like meaning that I don't really have to be anywhere if I don't want to, or if anything is as important as lifting, it's not. That's not it, you know, like I, 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 we could always make it work because lifting only takes me about an hour, working out takes me about an hour. So that being said, I sometimes don't fucking feel like it. And, but it just, when, when I think about it, things logically, it doesn't make sense for me to like not feel like it because it's a privilege and something that I talk about in the past about you knowing and understanding how to exercise. You knowing that fitness and health is a huge priority in life. You believe in that to the core. It's very impactful. A lot of people don't have that mindset. So it's technically a privilege, right? That you have these ideas and aspirations of getting a workout in. Which the fuck? Like, you know, think of the concept of the privilege of that, right? Like, you know, my mom or my grandpa, for example, my grandma they didn't, it's not like they went to the gym on a regular basis. It's not like they lifted on a regular basis. They probably, the, the workouts they did were just like life stuff, you know? Um, my mom did end up, eventually ended up going to the gym as we gained more financial stability, but 
It's a privilege to be able to prioritize an hour of your time just to exercise it. Not necessarily to go into the gym, because that's different, right? Like, I mean, I think going to the gym is a higher privilege because, I mean, you could drive, you know, you drive yourself, you, there's all these other factors that go into it. But just being able to exercise is just such a privilege knowing that it's important. So it doesn't make sense for you not to want to do it, even though um, you could justify it in one area, right? Say like, I don't feel like it, and, and the reasons, my reasons are X, Y, and Z, and they're all valid, that is 100% true, but it doesn't change the fact that fitness is still super, super important. Health is super, super important. Therefore, you need to be able to justify why you should go, right? And <clears throat> this is kind of how you fight those demons inside of you. And yes, pre-workout super fucking helps. Right, taking the supplements, the right supplementation really, really helps because it sets you up. Uh, it, it, it helps your mindset get in the right mind state. But as you continue to progress in life and in success, you really start finding out that you actually don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. Right, so like I said, for me, I never have to exercise because there's nothing that makes me or kind of requires me there's like there's no system in place the only system that exists that drives me to this is the systems that i set in place now making it to where it doesn't make any sense means that you start removing the limitations you start removing the things that prevent you from thinking oh yeah i should fucking do this right and a lot of the times we fail to do that because Maybe we're embarrassed or we don't want to go do things alone. Uh, but just kind of shifting your perspective and just believing that there's no reason why you shouldn't put in the effort towards this specific thing, um, which is fitness, your fitness. There's nothing that dictates, nothing that says that you shouldn't do it. Everything is pointing you towards you need to go and accomplish this. You need to go and do that. You need to go and fucking get this pump in. You need to go and go on this walk. Justifying it and believing, planting fucking seeds are gonna tell you and continues to drive you to choosing to always exercise. That's little, little. Uh, that's pretty, pretty fucking important. You know, this, this like it, it, it then becomes easy because, well, it just it's a lot harder to justify why it's okay for you not to exercise than it is for you to exercise. So this is all, you know, self-imposed and, and this is, uh, you know, it's a lot of shift in mindset that you have to make. And, and this is really what, what's important because you have to focus on the lifestyle. Not necessarily on what you, uh, like, on the everyday daily goal where you, uh, for example, are telling yourself that you have to exercise and burn so many calories and eat so many calories. Of, I mean, yeah, eat so many macros, grams of protein. Those things are really, really important. And those things really, really work and, and have a direct influence on the outcome long term. Uh, but on the day to day, just know that it's a lifestyle and you're never really running out of time. However, you have to sustain the positive habits because the more you fucking half-ass shit, the more you continue to justify and the more do you continue to start thinking that it's okay for you to miss, that, that it's okay for you that, that because you don't feel like it, you don't, you don't want to do it or whatever the fuck it is, the more that you begin to say those things are okay, the more likely you are to in the future make things harder for yourself, right? Like if you... For example, uh, if, if you're doing something with your budget, right, and you have two factors, I'm just going to throw a number out there. So let's say you spend $100 on desserts and you spend $100 on gym membership. Which ones would you cut? You know, if you're continuously slacking from here and there and say that instead of going to the gym six days a week, you're not going four days a week. And then you're telling telling yourself that you're just gonna work out at home, and then that this is your key to work out at home, you're lying to yourself, you're setting yourself up for failure, right? Meaning that it's it'll be literally easier for you to cut out sweets and then just fucking go to the gym more often, and the time that you spend thinking about desserts, go to the fucking gym, 
and use the fucking gym, keep yourself occupied in the gym, and that will create, you know, tickle your brain a little bit to get you to the point where you could buy whatever the fuck you want. So, you know, this is kind of why it makes sense, right? For me, I always justify as to why I need to keep going, why I need to push, why I need to do a second workout, you know? And it just doesn't make sense for me to not do it. It, it really, it, there's no excuse that is truly, truly valid to the core that it says, no, you shouldn't fucking do this or no, you should skip or no, you should take a day off. Like it really doesn't exist. And that's something that I chose, right? It's the path that I chose, it's the life I chose that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, people are gonna be forever admire. Like my, my universe and my timeline is gonna be of people forever admiring. And if you're not familiar with the forever admiring movement, I, I suggest you do some re research. I will talk about it in the future, but that's something that I, I chose to do. I, 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 for me to truly sit here and, to, and say that I don't wanna be aesthetic, it's a lie. However, it just doesn't, it's gotten to the point for me, I'm so committed to this and I'm so obsessed about it that it now it's a part of everything that I do to the point that when I tell you it doesn't make sense is because whatever reasoning and logical thought comes up of I'm bored or this body part hurts or whatever the fuck I could even consider, I have enough options to where I could still accomplish getting the health benefits get entertained and burn calories to achieve the body that I'm aspired to have. So it, it just, whatever fucking excuse, I've removed it from my environment. I removed it from my life to where there is no chance but for me to achieve the physique that I want. And this, this is applies to anything in life, right? And I'll give you another example um, that, that has nothing to do with the gym per se, but it has to do with fidelity, right? Being loyal and um, to my partner, for example. Um, I don't have friends and I don't have conversations that I am hiding from my partner. Meaning that if I sense or if Gabby, my wife, doesn't know who I'm talking to, like anytime I meet someone new, Gabby is one of the first persons that I just, I spilled the beans, dude, right away. It doesn't matter what the circumstance was. It doesn't matter if it was uncomfortable. It doesn't matter if, you know, it went really, really good or it went really, really bad or it was really, really awkward. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that I just fucking spilled the beans as soon as I can. Why? Because I don't want to think about, oh, did I tell you in the future? I don't want to like hold any type of guilt and resentment on myself. I don't have Snapchat, I don't use Snapchat. So if anybody hits you up and they say that it's me, it's not me, I don't use Snapchat. Why? Because in Snapchat, you can save your conversations, but it's designed for them to be deleted, right? I don't have time for that shit. I don't have time to be saving conversations. If you need to get in touch with me, do it through something that I could fucking go back and reread in case I forget. But what, what this does, me removing myself, my presence from a channel such as Snapchat, will I never have to remember to save a conversation or there's never, I can never, the, the, the probability of me or Gabby finding a name on my phone and her having any kind of insecurity and her not being able to verify that, like it doesn't exist because any conversation that I have on my cell phone, I never fucking delete. Therefore, in theory, if she were gonna go through my phone and read all my messages, I really don't care. Because I, whatever conversation that I have, that I followed up with a text, that is disclosed in the beginning, therefore is something that she knows about. And it's just like, that's something like super, super simple that I don't really, um, I don't really, like put too much thought in, right? Cause like it, it's just second nature to me, but it's the same concept when it comes to El Jimbo. Meaning that you don't wanna cheat on the gains, right? It doesn't make sense. Like remove yourself from the opportunity for you to make excuses 
one of them will be drinking the magic potion, right? Within 30 minutes, you have to go do it. And if you don't, you're gonna have a bad time. So you're avoiding the bad time by committing to something, right? So it's like, you're better on yourself that you're gonna go exercise. You're better on yourself that you're not gonna be, uh, you're not gonna quit. You're better on yourself that you're gonna follow through what you say you're gonna do. And that's what the magical portion, magical formula of a pre-workout does, you know? <clears throat> But just think of it, it doesn't make sense, right? Like I have all the tools available to me. All the tools available to me. I have all the resources available to me. Well, I mean, this is something that, you know, it took me a long time to get to, but I continuously, I kept thinking about buying the solution, buying the solution, buying the solution. A lot of times it was, I didn't have enough time, so I bought time. How did I buy time? By removing my need for traveling, right? <laughs> so you, like, whatever that looks like, you could buy that time back. So. You know, long story short, it doesn't make sense for you to not work out. It doesn't make sense for you to be out of shape. It makes more sense to be healthy. It makes more sense to be aesthetic. You get a lot more benefits. You get to to, to get your gym pro gym bro privilege if you're aesthetic. So, um, yeah, make sense of it. Make sense of it. Believe it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.